So in the last video, we just completed our first circuit. Congratulations, but don't get too happy because that was the easiest example we could have. The next example is going to be three resistors in this configuration right here. Let's say the battery this time is 100 volts and the values of the resistors, let's say, are four ohms, eight ohms, and another eight ohms. And once again, just like the last one we did, I want to find everything. That means all of the currents through all three resistors, all the voltages through all three resistors, and all the powers through all three resistors. Now typically the question on the test won't ask you to find everything, but I think you'd agree with me that if you are able to find everything, then you're going to have no trouble finding, let's say, the current through this resistor. So that's why we're going to find everything, we're going to get good practice, and you will be a circuit master one day if you do it for eight years like I have. So as far as the strategy goes for circuits, almost always the best idea is to combine your resistors to a single resistor. We are lucky here that all three resistors are in parallel. The reason why they're in parallel is because if I am a car driving down this circuit, which is the analogy I always like to use, I have three choices I can make. I can go down this road, this road, or this road. And because of that, the three resistors are in parallel with each other. Which means if I want to add them together, which I do, I need to do that weird math. One over R total equals one over R1 plus one over R2 plus one over R3. So in other words, one over R total equals one over four plus one over eight plus one over eight. Now, if you want to use a calculator for this, you can. I know you won't have any trouble using your calculator. However, I'm not going to use a calculator. I'm going to solve this using traditional math algebra because sometimes you're not just given numbers, sometimes you're given variables like R, and then you're really kind of in trouble if you don't know how to do this math without a calculator. So all you need to do to add these fractions together is you need a common denominator. The common denominator here is gonna be eight, so that means I'm gonna multiply my first one by two over two. That means that one over R total equals two over eight plus one over eight plus one over eight, and then I can just add these fractions together. Two plus one plus one is four. So that's four over eight, which does reduce to one half. But remember, that's one over R total. If I wanna find R total, I have to take the reciprocal of both sides, which just means flipping it. R total equals two over one, which is just two ohms. And there's our total resistance. And if I want to, I can redraw this circuit as a single resistor, just one resistor, now it's actually kind of in series if you think of it. And that resistor is going to be 2 ohms. And the reason why we do this is because now, again, I can find the current in the whole circuit, or at least the current coming out of the battery, which is different. And to find the current, I use Ohm's law. V equals I times R. 100 volts equals the current, which I'm solving for, times 2. It looks like the current I is going to equal 100 divided by 2. So 50 amps. Now let me redraw the circuit again, because this is the important part. This is where it starts to get challenging. So this is 100 volts, this is 4 ohms, 8 ohms, and 8 ohms. And what we're saying is the current coming out of the battery is 50 amps. Now if you remember, currents, when they're in parallel, add to the total. In other words, my three currents, I1, I2 and I3 are going to add to 50. But the question is, how do I find those currents exactly? We just use Ohm's law again. Let's look at the first one, for example. V1 equals I1 times R1. So the voltage across this resistor equals the current across this resistor times the resistance, which is 4. Now I have a problem here because I don't know the voltage, I don't know the current, but I know the resistance. So I can't solve for current yet until I find this voltage. Does anyone in the audience know how to find that voltage? You. Oh no, you didn't know? Okay, well then I'll tell you. Since these resistors are in parallel, remember, resistors in parallel have the same voltage. And the reason why is because the voltage from here to here to like anywhere touching in blue, that voltage everywhere is 100 volts. 
the voltage here coming out of the negative terminal of the battery, everywhere you see in green, that voltage everywhere is zero volts. And therefore the voltage across all three resistors, no matter which path you take, must be 100 volts. So V1 equals V2 equals V3, all of them are 100 volts, easy. And because we now know the voltage, it means we now know what to plug in for Ohm's law. So 100 equals I1 times the first resistor is four, so four, and 100 divided by four is just 25. So that's gonna be 25 amps for the first one. For the second one, V equals I times R. 100 equals I2 times resistor two is eight, so times eight. Just divide 100 by eight, you'll get I2 equals 12.5 amps. And then since voltage three and resistor three is exactly the same math as the eight ohm resistor, because it's also an eight ohm resistor, current three will also be 12.5 amps. And a cool thing that you can do is if you add 25 amps plus 12.5 amps plus that 12.5 amps, you'll get a total of 50 amps, which is exactly the same as the total that we said earlier. It's not a coincidence. So great, we have all the voltages and all the currents for our resistors. The only thing left to do now is to find the power across all three resistors. And this time I'm gonna mix it up. I'm gonna use the equation power equals V squared over R because we have the voltage and we have the resistance for all three of them. So power one is equal to the voltage across resistor one, which we said was 100 squared divided by four. I'll probably need a calculator for this and we'll get 2,500 watts for that first power. The second power is gonna be 100 squared over resistor eight, which is just gonna be half of the last one. So 1,250 watts. And then power three is gonna be the same 100 squared over eight, which is 1,250 watts. And if you add all these powers together, you'll get a total of 5,000 watts as the total power, which we could have found a lot sooner, by the way, if we just considered the power coming out of the battery, which is a 100 volt battery source with a 50 amp current going through it, because it's the total current, and power total would then equal voltage 100 times the current 50, you get 5,000 watts a whole lot faster. And so there we go, that's everything for this circuit. In the next two videos, we will look at even more complicated resistor problems, but that's okay, because there's no DC circuit that can stump us. We're gonna keep on powering through, no pun intended. So I'll catch you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye.